Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this class is about light independent phase of photosynthesis. As you know that in my previous class I already explained the process of photosynthesis and then I also explained about light dependent phase and the reactions is happening in the light dependent phase. In this class I shall be explaining a cycle which is known as C3 cycle and this is very very important students of English version you know that this is very common on your question paper especially at Carrot College and English version students you definitely uh, have seen there in your question paper that uh, some questions about C3 cycle is common in, uh, in your exam so light dependent phase if you understand it well you know that in that light dependent phase ATP and NADPH2 is produced and these will be using here to produce glucose and I just make it very simplified because you know that when you go to HSC level biology or A level biology you know that in that level this will be again discussed but in broader aspect and there are a lot of other steps in between these compounds but for your understanding it is making as a simplified process only six to seven compounds are written so before going to explain it i need to tell something that as you know that atp and nadph2 were produced nadph2 were produced in light independent phase and that will be used here and that is why atp and nadph2 is called assimilatory power so what's going on as this is a carbon dioxide reduction phase and these requires like carbon dioxide reduction pathway this can be three actually number one Kelvin cycle that is this number two Hatch and Slack cycle in that cycle this would be known as C4 as because the first permanent components of this pathway is oxaloacetic acid which is four carbon compounds that is why hatch and slag will be the next class in this class I will be only explaining about Kelvin cycle though you know that it's known as Kelvin Benson Basham cycle Basham cycle and this is actually CBB cycle so in this CBB cycle why it's called C3 cycle I will explain it later but it's called C4 as because the first permanent compound of hatch and slag pathway is oxaloacetic acid similarly in this pathway the first permanent compound is phosphoglyceric acid which is three carbon compounds and that is why it's called C3 cycle so number three is crassolucian acid metabolism which is called CAM cycle. So in these three cycles, among these three cycles, all these three cycle is the explanation of how glucose is being produced in the photosynthesis process. So Kelvin, Benson and Basham, they invented, they, they invented, they discovered this pathway and that is why in 1961, Kelvin, Melvin, Kelvin, Melvin, Elise and Kelvin, if I'm not wrong, got the Nobel Award. And this process started from here, ribulose one patch diphosphate. So this, the naming of these compounds may be like, like difficult, but these are the words that you need to be familiar with. So the process is being started from the ribulose one patch diphosphate so as a diphosphate is being here so di means two so in ribulose this is five carbon compounds five carbon compounds in these five carbon compounds there are two phosphate is being attached in the compounds that is why it's it's named as ribulose one five diphosphate and surprisingly you know that from the environment one carbon dioxide molecule will be added through the enzyme Rubisco and this enzyme will help to adjust to, to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere 
so that one molecule of carbon dioxide is added with five carbon ribulose one comma five diphosphate so when one carbon molecule is added with five carbon molecule then first temporary compounds keto acid is being produced which is actually six carbon which is extremely temporary and with the help of uh, and then then after what is going on then when this keto acid is produced it's immediately break down into two molecule of three phosphoglycinic acid so when you understand that six carbon of molecules keto acid is being dissociated and break down then it will produce two molecule of three carbon compounds and these three carbon compounds is phosphoglyceric acid as this phosphoglyceric acid the first permanent compound of this cycle and as it is three carbon that is why this cycle is called c3 cycle okay so that's this carbon dioxide reduction pathway has been discovered by melvin kelvin of course ben Chen and besham was there but the naming of the cycle with the name of discovered person is kelvin cycle that is why it's called kelvin cycle and also as the first permanent compound is three carbon compounds phosphoglyceric acid this is called c3 cycle so c3 cycle kelvin cycle and cbb cycle all are same so then with the help of atp and nadph2 that was used and produced in light dependent phase one phosphoglyceric acid will be transferred to three phosphoglyceraldehyde this is a part of aldehyde you know you already studied in organic chemistry so three phosphoglyceraldehyde and dihydroxy acetone phosphate will be produced so from one molecule of phosphoglyceric acid one molecule of three phosphoglyceraldehyde will be produced and from another phosphoglyceric acid dihydroxy acetone phosphate will be produced and then through the number of biochemical process from these two elements in one side ribulose 5 phosphate and then formation of ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate or diphosphate will be going on i mean the cycle is going on and in another side these two molecule will be responsible for producing glucose so this glucose is actually C6H12O6. You might not know that how many steps are there. I didn't write it here because it will be discussed in higher level biology, suppose in HSC biology or even A level biology. Students right now in English version on SSC biology, if you have some interest to understand this concept clearly and more detail, then you please go on HSC level biology, especially botany chapter 9, where is photosynthesis, a chapter name, and then you can see that how much detail is being discussed on that level. But here, only some sort of main compounds has been written so that you may understand yourself that okay this is c3 cycle because the main permanent compound is three carbon elements which is phosphoglyceric acid so as this is two molecule from one molecule three phosphoglyceraldehyde is producing from another molecule of phosphoglyceric acid dihydroxy acetone phosphate is being produced from these two, in one side glucose will be producing, and another side ribulose 5 phosphate will be producing. That will be continuing the rest of the phase, and then it's going on. So, this is the cyclic process how this glucose is being produced. As you know, that we already said in earlier that carbon dioxide and water will be reacting each other through the help of sunlight in chlorophyll, and then will be. Uh, uh, carbohydrate will be producing but here we see that this is a cycle where some number of carbons the number of reactions is going on so this biochemical process is happening each and every moments in chlorophyll and that is why it's said that 
photosynthesis is a long and complex process. So the student right now English version, you just think that what you understood in C3 cycle. And then if you have more interest, you can go to HC level and you just remember, you need to remember these three carbon dioxide reduction pathway. We only discussed in this class about C3 cycle. Next class, I shall be explaining about C4 cycle. And most importantly, you need to know that these cycle in which plants these cycles will be going on these will be naming as c3 plants so they will be naming as c3 plants so maximum plants are c3 plants because on that plants carbon dioxide reduction is maintaining through this cycle and in some other plants c4 is going on and those plants known as c4 plants so you can, you can understand that why C3 cycle and why it says C3 plants because in which plants C3 cycle will be going on they will be known as C3 plants and in case of C4 plants C4 cycle will be going on and on C4 cycle the first permanent compound will be oxaloacetic acid but in C3 the uh, permanent compound is 3 carbon phosphoglyceric acid. So this is all about the light independent phase and of course I hope that you understand what I uh, am trying to give you in short of this process and of course please do let me know that do you understand really my lectures and of course I'll definitely try to adjust your recommendations and feedback from my next class. So take care, stay well and stay blessed and do study hard and do let me know your requirements. Take care, bye.